T-minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting. T-minus five minutes, 10 seconds and counting, and we'll be standing by for a go for APU start. TLS is go for orbiter APU start. TLT OTC perform APU start. And CDR OTC, CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. T minus four minutes, 44 seconds and count. CDR heater reconfig complete. Copy. The launch team has terminated liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank and is now initiating LOX drain back. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds. APU start complete, three at Copy. Three good auxiliary power units reported by pilot Kevin Ford. T minus Four minutes and counting. TLS is go for purge sequence four. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. And a final test of the flight control surfaces is now being conducted. It's a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the flight control surfaces, the elevons, speed brakes, and rudder. T minus three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete, and Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. TLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. And we're completing the purge of the shuttle main engines. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. TLT OTC clear caution warning memory, verifying the unexpected errors. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. External fuel cell loading is terminated, and the gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. OTC, PLT, caution, warm memory, clear, no unexpected errors. Copy and Discovery OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow. T minus two minutes. Discovery Roger. TLS is go for EP LH2 pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. The astronauts are closing their helmet visors, allowing their suits to be fully pressurized. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 50 seconds. Transitioning to orbital internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. 
Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T-minus 31 seconds. CLS is go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 20 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main engine start. And we have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling on to the proper alignment for its eight-and-a-half-minute ride to orbit. Four-and-a-half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim that Discovery can make normal main engine cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, six-and-a-half minutes into the flight, all three main engines performing normally. Discovery now 466 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Less than two minutes of powered flight remaining. Discovery, single engine press 104, nominal shutdown plan, go for the 20 second plus X, no go the pitch. Discovery, copy all, 20 second plus X, no go the pitch. The 20 second plus X referred to by Capcom Eric Bow is the maneuver that Commander Rick Sterko will perform after uh, external tank separation, enabling umbilical well cameras to obtain flash photography of the fuel tank as it drifts away. Seven and a half minutes into the flight, the main engine's being throttled down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Discovery currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles per second. Discovery and its crew, 700 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. 40 seconds of powered flight remaining. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. That will be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Copy me. 